Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're at Formnext in Germany. We're taking a look at some of the latest and greatest tech in 3D printing. We're talking with some new partners, some old partners, and we're going to chop this up into lots of different videos so that we can try to cover as much as humanly possible. But first of all, let's play a game of jacket, no jacket, because sometimes I'm going to be hot and sometimes I'm not. And it's going to make it really difficult from an editing perspective. <laughs> Let's get in there. Hello guys and dolls, welcome back. We are at Apex Maker. So we have already reviewed the X1 before. It's one of our favorite printers. The Kickstarter has now ended, but we are now looking at the wash and cure station. So we'll get some close-ups in a minute. We've got the cure box over here and the 20 liter wash station over here. So one of the biggest challenges that we have when we're doing large prints on large printers, there's the first challenge of getting it to print. This printer does an amazing job of that. There's the second problem of washing those giant prints. And that is what this is for. 20 litres will fit inside of this. There is a cage inside. We'll do some close-up shots in a minute. And then, once you've washed it, you have to cure it. We've actually been having to cure a lot of our prints outside because we literally don't have a big enough cure box. We've tried lining a cupboard and all sorts of things. One thing to bear in mind when you say the inside of this is you can see the LEDs in this. You won't be able to see them in the final one. There's a diffuser that goes on to give a more equal light. That diffuser's off here so you can see how the LEDs are working. But that is the giant Apex Maker wash, uh, cure station. And, oh, and then we also have the wash. The wash has a, uh, has a spinny thing in it that creates a vortex in the resin that pulls all of that extra uh, resin off of your prints, makes them nice and nice and clean, and then you can put them back into this one. Personally, I recommend buying two wash stations, having one wash station for dirty IPA, one wash station for clean, and it's gonna make your larger models, and especially models with really fine detail, um, it's gonna make it a lot easier for you. But we've been using a bucket at this point, um, which is not a great solution. We can't seal it afterwards. This is vacuum sealed, so you cannot, um, so you just clip this open and all your IPA is not gonna escape um, and pollute your air. Uh, there's also a tap that goes on this as well, so you can easily drain it. But big, quick game of jacket on, jacket off. And then we are talking about one other thing that has come out of the show and is new. So when we received our Apex Maker, it had ACF film. ACF was the latest and greatest thing that you could get, gave you quicker release times, gave you a lower friction coefficient to mean that you could print super, super fast without losing some of that detail. However, Penji now have the TSP film. TSP is ACF on steroids, so it has a, it is thinner, so it, this is only a 0 0.18 thickness. So TSP has a lower release threshold, which means that you're going to be able to print faster without as much Z-lift required because the, this is less elastic, less, less flexible than ACF is. The great news for everybody who is getting a production Ace X1 is although mine had ACF film on it, the production machines will be shipping with TSP. So you guys get the upgrade. These are available from Penji. Um, they will be posting them on the group fairly soon so that you guys will know where to buy them. They are genuinely quite cost effective for what they are. For some level of context, three ACF films from someone like Frozen it's about 120 pounds shipped from their website. These are coming out for five pieces. They are coming out at 80 euros, which genuinely is actually quite reasonable, bearing in mind what you are getting. So that's a little update from the show. That is the Apex Maker stand. Catch you on the next one. <laughs> 